things. Well, these services would like this totally. As a reminder of God's presence upon you. God is very much with us tonight. Highlighted or spotlighted back in July 2005. And so I thought I'd share some of his um, interview answers and things with you tonight. Getting to know Dale Arnold. Dale has been part of the Godfrey First United Methodist family since about 1991 and has been working with the youth of the church for several years as a high school Sunday school teacher and recently as an adult leader for the Oasis Youth Ministry. He's been active in other areas and events of the church as well, including blood drives and bucket brigade for the outreach committee. You'll find Dale every Sunday morning as an usher for the 8.30 worship service. Dale is in Godfrey with his wife, Beth a pet dog named Branson, and two cats, Poopy and Callie. He's a graduate of Southwestern High School and attended Lewis and Clark Community College, where he received a degree in business communications. He's currently employed with Census Corporation, where he works in sales. Three words that Dale says describe him are honest, loyal, and dedicated. His hobbies include running, reading, and working out. He also enjoys Mustangs and has a collection of Mustang models and memorabilia. Dale also shared that he has a life mantra, to do my best and let God do the rest. Below are some more responses that we've received when we interviewed Dale. When asked, who is one of the most influential people in your life and why, he answered, Pastor Bob Logan, because he helped rekindle my fire for God. When asked, if you can meet anyone, living or not, who would it be? His answer, Jesus Christ. And he'll get that wish soon. When asked, what do you like about youth group? His answer was, I just love being with the kids and developing relationships with them. Some other things you might not know, Dale's favorite color is blue. His favorite candy is Raisinets. He's not a good one, Raisinette man. <laughs> His favorite pizza is pepperoni. His favorite beverage is Mountain Dew. His favorite type of music is contemporary Christian. His favorite movie, Austin Powers. <laughs> His favorite is 316. And his favorite sports team, as it should be, the St. Louis Cardinals. <laughs> Dale's birthday is November 28th. That's when we got blessed to have him as part of, of our lives. Mike is going to share Dale's favorite scripture at this time. Well, everybody knows Dale's favorite scripture. John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whoever and believes in him shall not have eternal life. One of Dale's favorite things in church would be to sing praise music. He loves, loves praise music. And so we're going to take some time just to worship in honor of Dale tonight. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save, He is mighty to save, forever, author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave, Jesus conquered the grave. Shut it wide and let the whole world see, we're singing. For the glory of the risen King, Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen King. <coughs> Savior, He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever, author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave, Jesus conquered the grave. I remember the first time I met Dale, and 
defining feature that I first noticed about Dale and gave him grief for, for as long as I can remember, was the fact that I thought he had ridiculously big ears. <laughs> um, quite often, several times throughout our lessons every Sunday, I would say that you should be able to hear us really well with those big ears. <laughs> and he would always whine like a little child. <laughs> tell me that his ears were completely normal size, they just seemed big because my head was overly sized. <laughs> <laughs> and the, those ears of his now, are, they're going to go to a real good use. They'll be with God and I'll use him to hear all the things that people have to say all over the earth and pick them up like a radar dish. For a time once that was back in the early nineties when Dale offered to help me pick up a piano and bring it to our home. Well, we got it into the back of his, his truck, and uh, if you can believe it, the two of us put it in there. And um, I was young. I guess. <laughs> and I we got to my house, and it had to go down in the lower level. And of course, we had a deck in the lower level, and uh, there was only one entrance, which was a uh, stairway on the far side of the deck from the side we were going to have to come down. So we very gingerly backed the truck down part of the incline along the side of the house and then very carefully got the piano out of the truck. Oh, boy. And because the only stairs and opening was on the far side of the deck, we decided to go over the top of the railing with it. Uh, where it was almost a ground level. So we got it up and over there and we ended up having to, I think we had to take the uh, sliding door out. I don't think it would go through with just the one door. And we got it in there finally. And uh, it was just, it was amazing. <laughs> he, I, I couldn't believe that just he and I did that. It was uh, quite a feat. And he was just, who's there, you know, uh, I, I, I think about it frequently, about how the, the, little, the fun we had getting that piano out of the truck, you know, down the side of the, the hill by the side of the house, out of the truck, over the railing, and on the deck and into the house, and it, it was uh, quite an adventure, but, uh, couldn't have done it without it. You two must be in the Wheaties, that day. Ah, Special K, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Raisin Bran or something, but uh, that was great. But I think most of the time, though, when I think of Dale, it's uh, uh oh. Every time we would meet, he'd say, "How are you doing?" And I'd start my the amazing thing, which I had an nasty habit of doing. And I, then I, I stopped in the middle of thinking, "Wait a minute." What am I talking about? This is the guy that's got the problems here. And uh, it, it kind of put me to shame. And, uh, he kind of helped me learn not to just dump all my problems. Uh, and someone would say, how are you doing? But he always wanted to know. He wanted the details. You know, what's going on with you? How are you doing? How's this going on? How's that? And uh, that was just there. He's, he's always been there. Uh, not a fiery young man, I've tried to ruin it.